today I want to give a quick update because uh, not that important in some ways because I guess if you believe what you want to believe, I'm driving my El Camino coming back from uh, downtown, you know, driving driving the old beast, took it out <laughs> for a long term for change. But uh, I saw on the internet about how Putin is pulling his ace, uh, I don't know, his brain arena and Rivero and I don't know who the hell else he was talking about. Vladimir Putin's pulling his ace and oh, you know, they'll nuke the West if the West doesn't freaking do what the hell, you know, back off the sanctions. And they're they're going to drop the dimes on 911. And like, everybody knows about it anyway. But, uh, you know, watch over here, this bear crossing man. It's like Cala National Forest and shit. Uh, <laughs> but, um, thing is, um, the reality of the situation is totally different, but no matter what I say, if people believe what they want us to believe, that's what they believe. The reality of the situation is totally different, actually. The reality of the situation is this. Russian satellites have gotten so outdated, and for nuclear deterrence to like actually see incoming nixels coming into their country, they got on schedule to put replacement satellites on the board, but the problem is they're six years overdue, and they're not online, they're still having problems with it, they're totally blind for incoming missiles as far as like the space and cast satellites, um, you know, tracking them, like they can track them from their own soil, but... <laughs> They can't track them. For, in other words, you know, you know it, all this talk shit crap about, you know, I know Putin probably will do something, I think, because he's the type of guy that's not going to back down on anything. He's just, he's got nowhere to go, you know, except down, so he's going to fight tooth and nail. But <laughs> I'm looking at this like, you know, the West isn't over a barrel by Russia. I mean, if the West said, we want to launch its first strike against Russia, Russia wouldn't know it until it's freaking in their freaking area, and by then it'd be too late. Not that that's going to happen, but that's the reality of the situation. What you're hearing on the alternative media is the exact, and you know, like some people get mad at me because I'm talking about, they're not trying to help, I'm telling you right now, but they're really, I, I swear man, if you, I don't know if you see it or not, but the way I look at it, they're not trying to help. They're trying to dramatize for money and views. They got a niche audience that is all about, I don't know, it's almost like they got to watch the horror show or something, you know? But I can't put out something like that versus and lie to people. Actually, there's a lot of situations that are bad enough as it is. I don't need to freaking, you know, exaggerate it. Now, I know Major Blitzen, XKGB talked about um, they were going to get a long-range strategic plan. The USSR came apart on purpose. He said that 10 years before it happened, like it was going to happen. He said that the Berlin Wall was going to come down back in the 70s. He said that it didn't come down. There's a radar. <laughs> You're my radar, man. My radar's going off. Beep, beep, beep. There's a cop over here someplace. So, uh, <laughs> that's him right there. <laughs> But, uh, gee, that's my radar. But anyway, um, what's going on is that, um, yeah, like, he predicted all this stuff, that there'd be glasnose, perestroika, perestroika restructuring, glasnose, new awakening, south, south, glasnose, the new awakening, solidarity in Poland, reunification of Germany, just tearing down the Berlin Wall. He says that Russia actually has a long-range strategic deception plan to befriend the, the West, and when the West is weak, they'll attack or some crap. That's what they're going to lay down with. They want the New World Order on their terms. And so we got one New World Order, yo, yo, or see that's what it is. So, I mean, it's like, 
listen to what you want to listen to, but the situation is actually the exact opposite of what they're telling you. You know we got a moment, you know, obviously she's a very weak leader, and uh, 